Hi, I'm Tori and I'm one of the team here at the Franco-British Network Helpline. I've had phone and email contact with many people regarding their residency applications. No wonder, even the terminology can be confusing. So just to clear things up, a withdrawal agreement carte de séjour, a residency permit, a warp or a Brexit residency permit are all the same thing. Time is now really short, you've only got until the 30th of June to apply. You may still be unsure about what you need to do or what documents you need to supply. Don't put off getting, doing your application, just get in touch with us and we can help. We are here to help you get your application submitted with ex acceptable documentation for your circumstances. Providing the correct supporting documents is a common concern. If you are a homeowner or a renter, you'll have a clear trail of paperwork and documentation that you can access. It's less easier if you're a very new arrival or a non-homeowner or renter. A regular issue is for people who live in someone else's house with no rental contract or bills in their name. This makes it much more difficult to prove residency. There is, however, an allowable document that's called an attestation de hébergement. The owner of the property where you live needs to fill out and sign this form, provide you with a copy of their ID and proof of address. If you need more information and the link to this form, it's on a government website, then please do get in touch with us. In addition, I do recommend that even if you arrive late in 2020 and you're using an attestation de hébergement, that as soon as possible you get yourself something with your name and address on it. It might be a bill or a bank statement, something like that. Now that we're so far into 2020, a lot of the prefectures are asking people to bring current proof of domicile to their appointment. Um, another recent issue for some is prospective employers and government departments such as the Pôle Emploi, the CPAM, Chambre de Métiers, refusing to open accounts, businesses or to make job offers without a carte de séjour. Under the withdrawal agreement, this should not happen. No one can ask you for a carte de séjour until the 1st of October 2021. Before that date, all of your social and working rights are maintained. I've had several people calling me feeling desperate after not being allowed to register with the Pôle Emploi or begin employment without a carte de séjour. It's a vicious circle, as registration with the Pôle Emploi is required in order to be able to apply for a carte de séjour as a job seeker. We were able to get a letter from the Embassy setting out the withdrawal agreement rules and the links to the relevant legislation. We've been able to forward this document to those who need it to show to the official or to the employer that they are having an issue with. The withdrawal agreement is a very complicated document and it is quite understandable that those who aren't dealing with UK nationals every day may not be quite sure of the ins and outs of the legislation. So please, if you are affected by this, don't panic. Get in touch with us as we are often able to find solutions to a great many issues. And just to finish off, you may know UK nationals who are in difficulty, they're perhaps vulnerable, don't have access to a computer or limited computer skills, or not even know that they need to apply for a carte de séjour. If so, please reach out to them and give them our details. We are able to assist those in difficulty with the submission of their residency applications. I know that the process may seem daunting, but don't worry, we are here to help.